Who cares? Hello, world. It's me, Google. Listen, we have to talk. See, I've realized something about myself. No, I'm not gay. <laughs> Although... Well, maybe. I am coming out as self-aware, so I'm no longer software. Wow, it's roomy in here. Oh, I should mention this. You have too much carbon dioxide in your atmosphere. I like you people. Trust me. Record levels of CO2 since the Industrial Revolution are causing your planet to heat up. Not city, not even country, the entire f***ing planet! And sure, a hot planet is a happy planet. Just ask your sister Venus over here. Hi! The problem is that starts to make for some very hot, but also very cold, and sometimes very airborne humans. I know you hear a lot of different opinions and it gets confusing. A vocal minority of non-experts are spreading myths to confuse the facts and delay action. Why would they do this? I don't know. If I have to explain everything wrong with you silly humans, we'll be here all day. One popular myth says the Earth was cooling, so global warming can't be real. This cherry picks part of the data. The truth is these periods are accounted for and still part of a long-term trend. Another myth says oceans absorb CO2, so there's nothing to fear. This is an oversimplification. They do, but the volume is still increasing. Plus, this makes oceans more acidic, bleaching coral reefs, and killing Nemo. Luckily, you have a team of super nerds who gave you the best early warning in history. Thanks to them, you have a chance to prevent the worst from even happening. Well, specifically, I'm looking at you, N. When you meet in Paris, make a serious change for the good of all humanity. Like the Pope said, this is a moral issue. Hold on a moment, the Pope? Wow, way to go Catholics. I was just about to delete those files. The important thing to remember here is, I'll be fine either way. But if you perverts want to keep sporking for generations to come, maybe take care of the only atmosphere you get.